Welcome to Melwani and Metal Nation Radio. With us today, we have Mike of the Reich, Mr. Michael Wilton of Queen's Reich. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. I'm just pulling into the stadium in Cleveland, you know, uh-huh. for our next show with the Scorpions. Right. So, uh, doing very good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, Scorpions, like you said, I mean, they started like 50 years ago, and and it might be one of the inspiration of you guys in terms of how you how you were brought up in the early days. So, now how's it, you know? playing with them i mean you guys are sharing stage with them how's this experience of you know having legends on stage and then you guys are there on stage so how's it feeling oh it's it's a it's a great pairing you know it's a good blend of uh styles of music Mm -hmm. that i think and then but you know for me personally i grew up listening to the scorpions right it's it's great i mean you know as a as a young teenage guitar player it was like you know, can you play the solo from Sales of Sharon? Mm-hmm. You know, and if you could do that, you were a cool guy. So, um, but yeah, all the uh, the old albums. I think we used to even play, you know, in in our garage band days. Right. Some of the Scorpion songs, and they were, um, you know, like the Zoo and uh, Blackout, mm-hmm. uh, Loving Loving You Sunday Morning, all those mm-hmm. ones that were really popular back then. So. Um, it's it's really great and for me it's just it's great you know hearing those songs because right. they just they really sound great live and uh, you know it, these are uh, really great shows for them and you know it's, it's it's hard to believe that they have been around this long because <laughs> right. when you when you close your eyes and you're listening to their music it's like it just seems like yesterday yeah timeless exactly all right now 10 days left you know just for the in the release of the new album condition human how's the band feeling i mean there must be anticipation there's excitement in the band and you guys have thrown hellfire arrow of time guardian and how have the fans responded so far oh it's all uh, just been you know amazing mm-hmm. to, to say the least and you know each one of those um you know uh, marketing scenario and right. we're really just keeping it's all about keeping the momentum but mm-hmm. i mean if if you check uh you know all the media outlets um and there are plenty of them uh doing reviews and uh, facebooks it's just it's amazing True. You know, it's, we're really bringing more and more people back to queens right that may have gotten lost along the way so right it's r- really doing its job Absolutely. I mean, it's 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 easily the next step in the evolution of the band. I mean, it's defining a new era, lifting any doubts that you know, uh, you the Queens Rack could be back on the feet. But here you are after self-titled album of you know, which released in 2013, and now Condition Human. It's a breath of fresh air compared to what you know what was released by Queens Rack like 15 years or so. So it's something which I relate to, and, and I'm sure you guys would have plan the same in terms of relating to the Queen's like fans and also having new fans on board. Right, you know, and that that's important, you know, you want to, um, you know, it's important to listen to the fans and, mm-hmm. you know, it's important to make the songs, you know, sound like a band, you know, right. the, the range, you know, and that's what we did on this album, you know, it's like we, we had more time, you know, to, to spend and bring, you know, as much, uh, arrangement value uh Mm -hmm. that makes us makes us happy with the uh the uh the song arrangements really you know and it's just keeping everything interesting Mm -hmm. and uh um you know and layering the songs which kind of is a queen's right trademark and really uh you know building the performances and and you know, it, it was really a, a lot of fun this time, you know. We had right. obviously less less distractions. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but, uh, you know, it was uh, totally supported by, you know, the record company and, mm-hmm. and our producer, Zeus. There was right. just, yeah, we, we got something really special here. So um, it was really good. 
Awesome. Now the sound of the new album has a lot of classic Raik vibe, and obviously because you know you guys are very deep rooted. We have three original guys who started Queens Raik, so I can totally understand the 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 connection with the with the classic sound. But then again, there's something new which you guys are bringing in. So how important is it for you, you know, when you listen to the music which Queens Raik you guys are making up, is to maintain that balance between the new direction and stay true to your roots. Right. I mean, it's well. It's important that you know we're everybody knows that we're a current band. You know, mm-hmm. we're not a not a legacy act. We're right. a current band. You know, we have current songs on active radio. We have videos. Um, we're playing festivals that with are with current bands, and uh, you know, it's um, it's really uh, pretty much you know along with that. I mean, it's. Um, you know, like you said, you know, you get three of the original guys. Mm-hmm. So um, the the roots are are ingrained in the playing. So right. when Zeus was trying to capture the magic of of those, you know, those uh, performances and translate them into a 2015 15. recording, you know, it was just it was just a matter of you know taking the time with the arrangements and and uh, you know you know giving uh, some room for uh, for Todd, for Todd to sing mm-hmm. <laughs> right and uh, but you know really you know not do the industry standard as far as you know guitar song arrangement you know try right. and bring bring it back like it was and you know and, and so far I mean it's just it's been just you know amazing as far as the reviews and just people the comments you know it's right. Like, if if you haven't heard the band in, in 15 years, and all of a sudden you put this on, you know there's a good chance you're gonna go, oh, those that's, those sound like the drums from Queensrÿche, or those sound like the bass from Queensrÿche, or those sound like the guitars from Queensrÿche. Right. You know? So, so yeah, I think there's a great attention to detail in that aspect, and you know, and that's that's very important for us. Absolutely, because you know you're talking about the production. So that was my next next question as to you know you guys probably you and you know you guys and Zeus really worked together to bring back that magic the way the let's say the instruments were recorded, but you did it in 2015, uh, you know, version of of the production. Well, yeah, I mean, and that's that's the value, you know, of of Zeus is that you know he made sure it's like it, you know. Um, you know, the bass was such a prevalent sound back in, you know, the, those albums, right? You know, and it, it was just, and we made sure that it was readable, right? right? You know, and it's very, you know, you can, you can listen to this CD, you know, with good headphones or on a good stereo system, and you can hear every instrument. You can hear everything, and, you know, it's just... You know, and that's that's the 2015 you know experience. You know, experience. it's not like vocals way out in front, you know, and everything else in the background. You know, it's like everything is right there in your face. So that's um, that's really important. And you know, because it's, I mean, for me, you know, some of the the, the greatest CDs that that I listen to, it's like I can listen to them each time and concentrate on a different part of the music or mm-hmm. a different instrument, and I can always find uh, something interesting or new to listen to and i love that you know and i think uh, there's a lot of that quality you know in this recording absolutely diversity is what i'm you know about to talk about because when be it a track like guardian which has a very cool vibe and actually took me back to those you know the nm 156 because of the mechanical like melodies in there and of course an amazing solo and the catchy chorus but there's a track called all there was you know, which clearly reflects the strong display of how mature and committed the band is, you know, is in returning to form. So diversity is something which you guys have very much explored on Condition Human. Right, you know, and it's, it's you don't want 12 songs that all sound the same. So you, you want diversity. You want, you know, um, songs that take you in a different direction. Right. But not like in a, not, not like in a direction that's 180 degrees somewhere else. Mm-hmm. You know, it's 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 all got to be you know uh, connected, right? You know, it's like the uh, the DNA has to be connected. So and it's really about um, you know diversity in the playing and 
what's great about Parker is, you know, technically he is very proficient. And, uh, for example, like on the song Hellfire, uh-huh. you know, in the, after the main solo, I go, dude, we need something that's just shred, something as fast as you can play, I told okay. him. I go, mm-hmm. you know, so bring, bring something into that, you know, and uh, um, it's, uh, and it's great. He can deliver because he's got the technique and. You know, for the for the super fast shred stuff, he's mm-hmm. he's perfect for that, and and we utilize that, and um, you know, as well as uh, you know, he's pretty much dialed into the Queensrÿche sound, the right. Queensrÿche guitar sound. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he we're all on the same page, right? So, um, and it's just you know, it's just about maturing as as a band, and 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 you know. Everybody's come together and we've grown together, you know, for two and a half years as a band. Right. And it shows in the, and it really shows in the playing and the, the writing. Absolutely. I totally get that. Now, Michael, I mean, you've been with the band from right from the day one. So, you know, and how do you feel when, 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 a, when a singer, when a vocalist says that he wrote the album? I mean, fans kind of get a perception that that he's the one who wrote the album, and they don't just seem to credit the the guitar players, the bassist who have written these tracks as well. So, does that annoy you as as a songwriter when when somebody in the media or some fan says, "Hey, Jeff wrote the album"? Does that annoy you because it's something you guys are equally deserve the credit? Uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't really follow any of that. Mm-hmm. And anyway, the, the, the fans know who wrote the songs, who wrote the music, you know, who wrote, you know, it's, it's a no brainer, right. you know, so that I don't, I don't pay attention to that stuff. Um, you know, it's all, it's all about what we did and it's history and it's fact and it's right. there and, you know, you can read it any way you want, but, you know. Who recorded the guitars? You know, who recorded the drums? Who recorded the bass? You know, who wrote those songs? It mm. says right there on them. You know, right. Who wrote the music? So, um, and it's history. It's you know, Queensrÿche's had a great history. We've had some ups and some downs. You Absolutely. Know? Um, fortunately, the fans. You know, the majority of the fans really were from those first six albums, and mm-hmm. that those way that way of writing. You know, those. Those are the main albums, and those are, those to this day are the the albums that everybody's screaming for us, you know, to play those songs. Right, right. And 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 uh, so yeah, it's it's all it's all history, and that's about where it is. And you know, I don't I don't follow any of, of that TMZ stuff. Right, right. That's amazing. Now, for you, uh, you know, it's it's it must have been a great vibe because uh, there's a sort of a, a new vibe, a new spark in the band. So when you play these the, the new material live, how I mean, how's the excitement and and obviously the fans who are listening to it definitely get to feel that the band is on fire. They're enjoying playing on stage. Well, that's great because the the new songs, you know, where we can put them in the set, they. They flow with the set seamlessly, mm-hmm. as if they were writ- written during that time period. So, um, you know, there, there's no problem with them working the new songs into the set, and the fans really encourage it. You know, so um, we've gotten to the point where, you know, the fans wanted to hear the songs they wanted to hear. Right. Queens now gives that, now gives that, mm-hmm. and now they're saying. You know, now play some of your new stuff. Right. And, you know, we, we played uh, the song Arrow of Time uh, on er- almost every date on the, the European UK tour. Yeah. And it went over amazing. Um, you know, I did interviews over there with blogs, with radio stations, and they're all playing the song and they love it. You know, and the fans love it. You know, the fans, our fans listen. You know, they pay attention to the music. Mm-hmm. And they, they pay attention, in, you know, at the concerts to these new songs. Right. And, 
you know, you get people, you know, people are already singing the chorus to Arrow of Time. Right. And it's, it's like, it's really amazing how everybody has latched on. <laughs> true. Absolutely true. Now, Mike, you know, uh, before we conclude, uh, is there any other, you know, European tour on cards later this year or let's say early next year? Um, as far as I know, our, uh, our booking agents um, are booking the 2016 tour. Uh -huh. And I know we uh, start up in January. But um, I know there's there's rumors for us to uh, to head back to Europe mm -hmm. at some point, and we're uh, you know probably the plan is to tour on this album, you know, as much as possible for a long time, right? So for a couple of years, so uh, yeah, they're already uh, routing the next uh, tour, so. Awesome. Well, we'll obviously keep that keep that updated, you know, on all our media sites, and we'll keep that updated, cool. uh, you know, on on Facebook, on Queensrike Official, and QueensrikeOfficial.com. So right. Um, keep checking all those sites for uh, new shows that keep popping up, and uh, you know, it's it's, it's exciting. It's like you said, it's exciting times for Queen's Rock again. It's, it's a rebirth for the band. Yeah, and absolutely. We're, we're ready to ready for that, and we're going to take this thing as far as it can go. Absolutely. That's amazing to hear, Michael. So before we conclude, how about you define condition human in just one sentence? Condition human is its own animal. Wow. You know, it's 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 a little bit of this, it's a little bit of that, and you know, it's a lot to ingest, but mm -hmm. it's its own animal. Wow. Absolutely. Michael, thank you very much for spending some time. It's been an honor. I look forward to see you guys, you know, in Australia down the road because you got so many fans out here. So good luck with all your endeavors, my friend, and all the best ahead. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Rock on. See you. Bye.